Hello everyone, and welcome to another Imagine Your Story Science with Mr. Brian video. Now today, in this video, we're going to be talking about our third and final of our STEAM challenges based on fairy tales. Now, our fairy tale for this challenge is going to be Jack and the Beanstalk. Now, I know a lot of you guys know the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, so I'm not going to read through that one this time. I will just kind of give a quick summary. You know that um, Jack's mother sends him with the family cow to town to sell it to get money for food, but instead Jack trades the cow for magic beans, which makes the mom angry. She throws the beans out the window, and when Jack wakes up the next morning, there's this huge beanstalk that um, Jack climbs up. When he climbs up there, he finds the giant's castle. And inside the castle, he finds a goose that lays golden eggs. He finds a magic harp that sings really beautiful songs. And he decides that that would be very helpful for his family. So he had those and grabbed them to bring back down to, for his mom to have. The harp was uh, yelling and trying to get the giant's attention saying, Help me, help me, I'm being taken, I'm being taken. And the giant chases after Jack. He's working to climb back down the beanstalk, um, get to the bottom, you know, chop the beanstalk. The giant falls, and Jack and his mom live happily ever after. Now, our steam challenge for today is, let's say that Jack didn't have enough time to climb down the beanstalk and what he had to do was jump from the top of the clouds in the giant's castle trying to get safely back down to his house. Now what we're going to do and what I'll need you to gather your materials with at home to do with this is we're going to make a parachute for Jack in order for him to be able to float down to the ground safely. Now you'll need to have some sort of little a uh, miniature figure or little toy or something that you can use to kind of be your weight for Jack. What I found to use for my Jack is this little Lego minifigure here. So this is going to be my Jack for my parachute. The materials I have uh, for my parachute here is I have uh, some little cup cupcake wrappers course have some tape. I have some nylon cord. I have a hole punch. I have some coffee filters and I also have a plastic bag and also they provided me with some stickers here. So these are the materials that I'm going to have and I'm going to use. So here in a minute, I'm going to show you what my example looks like. Now, like with our other STEAM challenges, you guys get to have five to 10 minutes for your parachute design or for each design that you choose to make for what materials. And also as usual, I get a grand total of two minutes. So let's see what I come up with. Okay everyone, here is what my little parachute looks like. As you can see here, I used a coffee filter. Cut a little hole here on the top, not quite as in the center as what I meant for it to be. But this will be good for ventilation. Now as I went to tie my cords here at the end, you can see that I reinforced them with tape. If I just did the, if I only punched a hole through and tied my cord off, that would bend out and tear these very easily. So I used the tape to reinforce uh, my coffee filter before I punch the hole. So this should make for a stronger connection here for where I've attached my cord to my parachute material, which is the coffee filter. Now I've done that around here on four sides. Try to keep it fairly even so it'll hold things together. And at the bottom of this, what I've done is you can see here I've created a little gondola or basket to hold my jack, I gave him a seat belt of tape, so hopefully they'll keep him nice and safe. And with this little cupcake wrapper thing, that will 
also kind of help hold things down and to hold the other ends of my parachute cord I use the stickers to attach it here in these spots to my rest of the parachute so all we have to do now is test this thing out and see what it see what happens to it Okay, everybody, we're getting ready to test out my parachute. I'm going to let it go and drop it here in three, two, one, drop. Okay, now we'll look and see if the jack survived. Move my top parachute out of the way. You can see that he did. So that means if we had a successful test, hope you guys had successful tests as well. Okay everyone, well you can see how our test went with our jack and the parachute. I hope you guys have a successful drop for your jacks and I hope you guys have enjoyed the Steam Challenge videos. Uh, we've got uh, other videos coming soon so be sure to check out the Art Circle Library YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.